Jalen Brunson is hands down this year's NBA All-Star Team snub. I mean, the man deserves to be in Salt Lake City, and he deserves his flowers for the season that he's having. Ian O'Connor is a New York Post columnist and has a trending article out on the site about what JB means to the future and the foundation of New York Nick basketball. And Ian, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. You wrote at 26, he should be in the middle of this team's championship plans for the next decade or so. Not everyone gets that type of respect here in the Mecca. So what is it about Jalen Brunson's game that should make the Knicks build around him? Well, I think, Brandon, it's not just the scoring. It's he plays with what I call a generosity of spirit. I think that there's a joy about his game that brings it out in other players. And you saw that this year so far in Julius Randle, who has admitted that a large part of his success in playing at an all-star level like he did two years ago and like he didn't last year belongs to Jalen Brunson and his presence and taking a lot of pressure off Randle. And I also think when Randall was named an all-star and Brunson wasn't, to see Jalen's reaction to that, how happy he was genuinely for Randall, players around the league see that. And I just think what he's established here is almost by himself a winning culture. And I, I think that that will attract big-time players down the road. Oh, I mean, you just took my second question. I was going to ask you, does that generosity of spirit and appeal to other players uh, in terms of bringing in another superstar? So since you answered that, like, who, who would you pair him up with in that case? <laughs> wow, well, it, it really, it, it would just be a guess at this point. Okay. And we're looking at, say, the next two or three years. One thing I will say, Brandon, is I do think now, and I didn't believe this when the Knicks signed him, he is better than I thought he was, even though we saw what he did with Luka in the playoffs last year. Uh, he can be, I think, the second best player on a championship team. And 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 so uh, he's proven a lot in his what is relatively a short sample size in New York. But I think he has staying power. His game is not built on athleticism. So I think his game will age well. And so uh, who that player is going to be, I, I really do not know. We can throw out some names of people down the road. If Zion Williamson stays healthy and proves he can be a consistent star, he's a guy who clearly has already expressed his interest in playing in the garden. And there are a whole bunch of other, other guys you could point to. But I think that the Knicks are in really good hands with Brunson. I could see him being the point guard for uh, 10 years or so. And the Knicks haven't had a reliable, consistent point guard in forever. So that's a pretty good thing. And ladies and gentlemen, that was just speculation. It was just hypotheticals. Don't go tweeting. Oh, Ian O'Connor says Zion should come to the Knicks. We were just, he, he was just, he answered a question, so he answered a question. There we go. Last but not least, and just, I'm going to ask you plain and simple. Does Jalen Brunson bring a championship to New York? Well, I'm pretty much a skeptic when it comes to this. You're going back to 1973, and I was there in the 90s covering the Knicks as a columnist in New York, thinking they would pick a title off there, and they did not get it done like the Rangers did, of course, in 94. So I, I'll say, just because I want to be optimistic for Knicks fans who have suffered a lot, I will say yes. I, I think in Jalen Brunson's time in New York, they will find a way to win a championship. I don't think more than one, but... I think uh, given the biblical drought that Knicks fans have endured here, one will be plenty. So I'll go ahead and say they will get they need to get another superstar to play with him. I don't think he can be the best player on a championship team, but as a number two option, yes, I think he'll get it done. All right, we won't quote the speculation, but we're going to quote that one. I think everybody, every Knicks fans out there would love to hear or love to see the Knicks win a championship. Uh, Ian O'Connor, great article, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Brandon.